Detroit number 11, Jocelyn Bishop, second half. Taking the lead to Lane Kelly right off the bat. Lane Kelly down in the second. A lot of moving around in the play right here. Today we're here at the uh, Purdue EV Grand Prix Fall Classic. This is our first fall race. And this is an opportunity for high school programs to learn about uh, EV technology, where they get to design, build, and troubleshoot their own go-karts as part of either a class or an after-school club. And today we had 11 schools participate, and uh, it's a great turnout, and uh, we've just been excited about this race today. The EV Grand Prix program is fantastic. It allows students to design and troubleshoot uh, go-karts uh, that will give them real skills and hands-on learning uh, with technologies that are emerging in the marketplace. Uh, so if they want to work in the EV industry, this is going to give them a, a lot of experience, uh, not only on the technical side where they may have to learn how to set up gear ratio or the front end geometry and doing uh, that kind of work, but maybe it's problem solving, like fixing their website and having a better marketing presence for their EV Grand Prix team when they're out working in the community and trying to build support for their team. We're excited with Purdue Polytechnic's involvement with the EV Grand Prix program for the high schools. It's not only working with the Polytechnic program here in West Lafayette, but also all of our statewide locations are engaged to help bring opportunities to local communities around Indiana uh, to focus on the EV Grand Prix. We had our test and tune in Columbus, we've had a test and tune in South Bend, Indiana, as well as here in West Lafayette. Uh, we're planning for spring test and tune events at other statewide areas, maybe Anderson, uh, maybe Indianapolis, so we can have a broader community engage into, into what we're offering here with EV Grand Prix for the high schools. One of the best things about the EV Grand Prix high school program, it allows students to explore a variety of technical areas through a learn by doing uh, experience. So one of the things that we, the students can do is solve problems with technology, which is really the heart of the Polytechnic Institute. Uh, they get their hands on the technology, learn how the technology works, and then they can apply to the solution. This leads to opportunities in mechanical engineering technology, electrical engineering technology, computer and information technology, and a variety of our polytechnic degrees. It can be leadership. Many of the kids participating are on a team, and the driver may be the leader, they have a crew chief who could be a leader. So there's a variety of ways what the kids are experiencing and participating here at the EV Grand Prix program can relate to what we offer the Polytechnic Institute. Again, we had about 11 schools here today. We know there's about another 15 high schools that have carts that are not active. A lot of it had to do with the pandemic. And our goal right now is to reactivate those teams, to get more engagement from those high schools, and then grow it beyond that. Our goal is to have 50 high schools around Indiana over the next couple of years actively engaged in our uh, Grand Prix races as well as our test and tunes. The white flag is out. The white flag is out. 57 has a lot of speed. He's picking in gear. He says he wants the second flag. Can Jocelyn hold her second place? I don't know if she's going to have time to get that first place because Tyler has a lot of speed on him. Looks like Jocelyn's coming in halfway there. White flag's out. And the checkered flag. Checkered flag, everyone. There we go. Tight 67. Benny County, Tyler Wall. Your unofficial winner. Congratulations.